Well, you said it. It's all over the internet of of Ric Flair allegedly allegedly calling you the N word. Uh, this forever tired two thousand is wondering if he ever apologized for that. Uh, no, no, no. I no, I don't think. I mean, I mean, if he had, I would know. No, he hasn't. But I, here's the thing about that. You know what I mean? Sometimes people don't apologize, like come up to you and say, I apologize. You know, sometimes, you know, they, you can, you know, they can speak to you, uh, maybe try and hold a conversation with you to let you know in so many words, you know, hey, uh, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm sorry about that. But like I said, I ain't never really expected that. And I really don't, don't, don't really care because I put that all behind me. Uh, I was able to make it and I was able to show people, you know, that, you know, had that negative about me and said that I would never make it and I had no talent. I was able to prove them wrong. So that that was good enough for me. So I don't need no apologies. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm just telling the truth. It is what it is. That's what happened. What is the story behind that for those that don't know? I've only I've only heard people say that he allegedly called you that, uh, but I've never actually heard the story. Uh, myself. Well, uh, like one time in Knoxville, Tennessee, I think, and uh, I never remember there were some girls that were trying to come into the back door, uh, getting in the back of the arena. And then I think he was maybe at that door and they said some girls threw me on a bus. I don't even know who they were. I'm referee. I don't know these people. And uh, they said, that used my name and said that I told them that they could come in or I could, they could come to the back door or something like that. And so he runs into me and the next thing I hear him say, says to me, uh, Ian, do you like working here? I guess in the old days, uh, it was maybe more common. I'm not saying that that's right at all, but I've heard Tony Atlas, uh, say in interviews with me that, uh, it wouldn't be that uncommon to hear that word in the dressing room um, in the 80s. Is that is that correct? Or Well, yeah, that's pretty much correct. But, you know, it, you know, my, my thing was like this. You know what I mean? You're going to hear a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So just say what I learned to do be, do it this way. You say what you want to say. Just don't put your hands on me. That's when you got a problem. So, you know, like I said, I'm, I got so used to hearing that, too. You know what I mean? I ain't. And a lot of time, a lot of people say it to 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 use it to try and get you to defy yourself, and that's what a lot of guys didn't understand either. They couldn't take it, you know what I mean. When they heard it, they just went, you know, off. Oh, but that was a trick, you know what I mean. They'll get you, you know, where they, you know, like, well, you can't come in here fighting and stuff, so you you you're fired. But you actually fired yourself because you let it get to you. You didn't know how to play the game. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.